today's video I'll show you how to upgrade the firmware for Catalyst 2960 switch. Okay, now let's get connected to the switch using party. So I have already connected uh, the laptop to the switch using a console cable. So I'll select serial, the COM port is 3. So to check the COM port, you need to open uh, computer management. So Windows R, type compmgmt.msc, enter. And under device manager, under ports, you will see the currently connected COM port number. And then open. So let's verify uh, the current firmware that's being run on the switch. So for that, you'll be typing a show flash. So this is the current one. It's 122. So I'll be upgrading it to 152. So I have already downloaded the firmware and uh, put it in C drive under a folder named as Cisco firmware. So this is this, this is the version that I'll be like uploading it to. So the first thing we would need to uh, give an IP address to VLAN interface. So let me do that conf t interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.1.12.255.255.255.0 and then n. At the same time make sure that your PC your IP address is on the same range so good go to Ethernet and you see here so 192.168.1.46 so let's ping from the switch to my PC 192.168.1.46 so I could ping successfully. It's 505. The same thing. Let's ping from uh, the PC to the switch. So I open command prompt. Ping 192.168.1.12. So it's successful. So now you would need to download this software. I will just put it in the description, which is called as TFTP. So we'll be like uh, downloading the firmware, sorry, uploading the firmware from uh, the PC to the switch using this. So the first thing you will see, uh, you'll browse to the firmware. So I have kept it under C, Cisco firmware. And then choose the uh, interface in my case which is 46 okay now let's uh, copy the firmware to the switch so you'll be entering the command copy tftp colon to forward slash and the ip address of your pc 192.168.1.46 in my case a forward slash and now you will uh, need to enter the firmware name so we'll go to the same file rename it just copy and paste it here and then space flash colon enter so like once you press enter you might see a few error like around two errors here no, sorry just can enter it's it's common so just ignore this error so you will see uh, the progress while uh, the firmware file is being uploaded so you see it here so leave like give, give it some time until it's like fully loaded so i will continue back uh, once it's loaded Okay, now it's successfully uploaded to the switch. So let's uh, verify it by uh, giving the command show flash. So you'd be able to see the previous uh, firmware, which is 122 and uh, the latest one, 152. So now what we would need to do is to like, to get into the global config mode and then to change the newest firmware as the boot file. So currently the old uh, firmware 
is being set uh, as the boot file. So to verify, give the command as show boot. See, as you can see here, 122, the old one is being set as the boot file. So let's change it by uh, getting into the global config. Let's config terminal and give the command as boot system flash colon and then name of the firmware so i will just uh, copy the name here and paste it there and enter and show boot so as you can see it's 152 the latest one so give a write mem command to save the commands and then reboot the switch thank you